So here we are on John Jones Road. Let me walk this way a little bit. Maybe you get a better picture of the house. My car seems to be in the way a little bit. Ignore the trash. Dogs got in it. This is a country house uh, on a country road. Nice little houses around it. Um, does have a ditch in the front. So let me show you that. Not too bad. You could cut it with a lawnmower. A little bit of it might have to be weed eated. Walking up the driveway, two-car garage. Cute house, probably built by Ron and uh, Ron Pollard and his wife, Amy. Uh, they built a lot of these houses out this way. So we're walking up to the front door. Here's your porch, big enough to put a couple of rocking chairs and maybe a little plant or something. Looks like it's been vacant for a while because there's quite a few wasps that need to be killed. Welcome to the country in South Alabama. Okay, so we're coming into the, yeah, this is definitely Ron's house. He does the wood stuff like you see here in the ceiling. That's kind of his trademark. Looks like this may have been done later because it's a different color stain, different, same kind of wood, just a different color stain. <clears throat> Here's your grand room. They've tried to touch up the paint. You can probably see the difference in the, in the paint right there. I don't know how good these videos are online. It does have a security system. So we're walking into the kitchen. Let me see if I can get some lights where we can see. Maybe a little better. Um, I've seen this plan for Ron. I've actually sold this particular plan for them before. So I'm standing with my back in the bay window. In the back of the house, here's the kitchen. There's the grand room. So walking from the back of the house through the little dining space between the kitchen and the breakfast area, you have a hallway here. Let's see if that helped. Yeah, I'll try to reduce it so you could see it. Um, so we have a hallway. This is the, the laundry. Ron usually does a really good job on the laundry. Uh, has cabinets, nice space. This is one of the plants he builds quite a bit. There's a few little nicks and dings and stuff like that, but nothing that would really concern me. Uh, nice size garage. I wouldn't call it oversized, but it is nice size. Again, this is Jones Road. I don't remember if I said that or not. Coming back out of the laundry and the garage, breakfast area, kitchen master uh, does have uh, engineered hardwood and again the wood in the in the tray box tray ceiling here's the master bath it's, he really does a good job on this uh, there's really no granite here it's just uh, it's just Formica but it is a nice high def Formica and here's me um, five foot tub this is not a an oversized tub, but it is jetted. Then you have a separate commode closet. And I'm sorry, I missed a closet when I came in. So here's the, see if we can find a light. There we go, maybe that's better. So we have a closet here, commode closet here. Nice shower, a little bit of water stain. Not huge, but big enough. Uh, frameless glass door and then to the right you have the other vanity and another closet so nice area in here uh, let's go back through and look at the other bedrooms and then we'll look at the backyard so I'm sorry if this is making you dizzy I'm not trying to do that more touch up paints on the uh, spots on the paint so we'll go ahead and catch the backyard since we're right here at it just to give you a relation here's the front door the dining area there so if we come in the front door down straight through the living room the back doors directly in the back this is not what I would call a completely open floor plan 
because there is a wall between the kitchen and the living room. Nice fence. A few little pickets missing, but you can pick those up at Lowe's. Um, doesn't look like the whole yard is fenced because it goes back to goes back to right there. Uh, have a really nice back porch. Um, plug there, so you could put a TV out here, a Wi-Fi TV, which is real popular for us. A uh, house could stand to be pressure washed. Um, walking through uh, from the back door, there's the front door. Walking to the left from the back, right from the front, into the other bedrooms. They're pretty nice size. Carpet shows a little bit of wear, but not too terribly bad. Um, decent closet. Here's the secondary bath. So this is just a two bath, it's not a two and a half. Then the hallway, relationship, again, there's your living room, your back door. So on the right, if you're standing in the front of the house looking at the house, the master bedroom is all the, all the way to the left. The three other bedrooms are all the way to the right. So we walk in here, here's another bedroom. All of these closets are pretty much the same in this plan. They're decent sized, but they do only have the one door now. There's spots like this in some cases where they've touched up the wall and tried to match the paint. Didn't do a fantastic job, but it's not terrible either. <clears throat> so here is the last bedroom on the back of the house on the right. Um, I'll walk over here so you can see the fence out back. So you know this is the, the very back bedroom. These are nice size. I would say they're 12 by 12, uh, which is a nice common size for most bedrooms. So this is the Jones Road house. We're gonna move on to the next one.